Education Assistant at the First Unitarian Church of Salt Lake City. Thanks for tuning in for UU of the Week, a regular feature of Reimagining Chapel. This month's theme of becoming included a quote from Albert Schweitzer that I love. It says, The path of awakening is not about becoming who you are. Rather, it is about unbecoming who you are not. The idea of unbecoming who you are not has been stuck like an itch in my consciousness ever since. So after looking up at his picture, uh, like up on our UU of the Week timeline for so long, I decided to learn more about Albert Schweitzer. It turns out that he is just an honorary member of our church, but his life's work and the story of how that came to be were both so interesting that I couldn't help but share them with all of you. Albert Schweitzer was a polymath a word which was invented just for people like him who made significant contributions to so many different fields of study that it's difficult to label them any other way. He was a humanitarian, theologian, philosopher, organist, musicologist, physician, and scholar. Whew. Albert Schweitzer was born in 1875 in Alsace. At the time, it was a territory of the German Empire, but later became a territory of France after World War I. Schweitzer's early education focused on music. He played the piano and the organ, and in 1906, he wrote a pamphlet on organ building that inspired sweeping change across the industry. <laughs> Schweitzer was a founding member of the Paris Bach Society and also traveled to Barcelona, Spain frequently to play the organ at the Bach concerts of Orfeo Catala. At the same time, Albert Schweitzer also studied theology and became a deacon at a Lutheran church in Strasbourg. As a theologian, Schweitz Schweitzer, sorry, Schweitzer challenged traditional Christian views of Jesus, insisting that stories about Jesus should be studied rationally and in the context of Jewish culture and history. He ultimately concluded that the life of Jesus must be interpreted in the light of Jesus's own convictions. Schweitzer wrote that the Jesus of Nazareth, who came forward publicly as the Messiah, who preached the ethic of the kingdom of God, who founded the kingdom of heaven upon earth and died to give his work its final consecration, never existed. He is a figure designed by rationalism, endowed by life, endowed with life by liberalism, and clothed by modern technology in historical garb. This image has not been destroyed from outside, it has fallen to pieces. This radical view of Jesus led Albert Schweitzer to develop his philosophy called reverence for life. Schweitzer said, reverence for life affords me my fundamental principle of morality, namely that good consists in maintaining, assisting, and enhancing life. And to destroy, to harm, or to hinder life is evil. In 1952, he received the Nobel Peace Prize for this philosophy. Rachel Carson was so inspired by Schweitzer and his philosophy that she decided to dedicate her book, Silent Spring, to him. This book is often credited with sparking the environmental movement in America, which is a cause that is obviously near and dear to UU hearts. The reverence for life philosophy also inspired Schweitzer to become a doctor with the intent of spreading his ethical interpretations of Jesus's life and work through providing healing medical care to people in need rather than preaching to them from the Bible. Schweitzer founded a hospital in Gambon, which at the time was a French colony in Africa. He split his time between Africa and Europe, where he also teamed with Albert Einstein to stop the use and testing of atomic bombs. He event but eventually, he moved to Africa permanently to work in his hospital. The Church of the Larger Fellowship, which is an international congregation of Unitarian Universalists, 
offered Albert Schweitzer an honorary membership in 1962 because of all of his work and his philosophy and everything that he contributed. Dr. Schweitzer replied, I thank you cordially for your offer. I accept with pleasure. Even as a student, I worked on the problem and the history of the Unitarian Church and developed sympathy for your affirmation of Christian freedom at a time when it resulted in persecution. Gradually, I established closer contact with Unitarian communities and became familiar with their faith in action. Therefore, I thank you that through you, I have been made an honored member of this church. Albert Schweitzer's philosophy of reverence for life and consistent defense of liberal religion has spoken to UUs for nearly a century. He was a lifelong Lutheran, but also wholeheartedly accepted membership in the Unitarian Universalist Church of the Larger Fellowship. We'll take it. And we are thrilled to add Dr. Schweitzer as an honorary UU of the Week. Be sure to check out uuoftheweek.org to learn about more fascinating Unitarian Universalists. And thank you for watching Reimagining Chapel.